Yeah, uh, it didn't it didn't go well as I was planned. But remember, I remember myself. I didn't I didn't run fast this year. I didn't run under 45 this year. So I was expecting a very difficult championship for me. So I came here, but I never wanted to give up. Just I just wanted to try what will happen. So I just came here to try to see where I am. So and remember. This is my last season running, so I came here to to do all my best. Yeah, can you, you talk about this being your last season running? Can you just sum it up? You've had a very interesting career uh, in the 400 meters. You have a lot of you've inspired a lot of other young 400 meter runners from Botswana. Can you just sum up the whole journey for me what it's been like for you as an athlete coming to this stage this one being your last championship yeah it's been a while i think 15 years now uh I, I won't complain about my season i'm very happy about my career since i started you know i thank god to give me this this career for athletics i really think i really thank him so i'm really happy about it everything so so far so good like I said, I won't complain about anything. Even I didn't perform well here, but I'm really happy about myself. Yeah. Uh, and uh, another one for you, uh, obviously some other African. It's good to see uh, Wade back in the mix uh, after Rio 2016. He suffered a really bad injury. You being in that race, you know what it's like to recover from a, a tough injury like that. Any word of advice to him? What are you hoping for him this season being an African brother? Yeah, I think I'm happy for, for Wade to come back. Uh, it was tough, really tough for him, but see him to come in here and go to the final, I think it's, it's a very good thing for Africa. And for my boy, I think he's taking over uh, Ndori. Yeah. He's in the final, so I'm really for happy for him and I'm happy because we are coming from the same village. So I think good luck. You're from the same village as Ndori? Yes. Wow. Same village. I think good luck to you Ndori. I think you're going to make it. I know if you don't take a medal, but Final is a big thing, first championship for him. Okay. What, what does that mean for Botswana and for, you know, just from being from the same village, having Ndori in the final and him being kind of the new generation of Botswana and African sprinting? Yeah, it's a good thing. Uh, even for me, it's a good thing because I was the one controlling the 400 for a long time in Botswana from Tutume. So Ndori is also from Tutume, also. He's taking on my lead. So I think it's very good for Botswana. So I think uh, I didn't leave any gap. I left someone behind me, so I think he will take over from there. What is so special about Botswana and 400 meters? Because not just in Dori, you have a lot of very talented 400 meter runners. What's, what's the secret? Yeah, I think it's just from uh, looking to someone else. They were looking to me how I was dominating the, the world, you know. Then they, they say, they beat themselves also. They say, no, we're gonna, we want to be like, like Makwala. It's a very good thing, yeah. Okay. Well, all the best. Congratulations on a wonderful career. And we wish you all the best in whatever you decide to do next. Yeah, thank you so very much. But we are not over until we get that medal. I told you that I, I want to leave you with the medal. Yeah. So the 4 by 4 is coming. So. Yeah, uh, and your thoughts on that? You guys have a very strong team, huh? Yeah.